give it back this instant she snapped at her sibling in annoyance come and get it yourself he gave her a challenging look and sprinted away instead following him she frustratedly ran her hand through her hair just then a devilish blackmail plan crossed her mind oh you are gonna pay for this she muttered and dashed towards their parents bedroom mom you in there she knocked on the door twice before entering with a fake sniffle hey honey how's the planning going on it's good i just need some help she sniffled thrice in between her words as her mother immediately left the clothes she was folding and turned to face her daughter who was apparently crying hey what's wrong she inquired while caressing her hair he keeps troubling me all the time he snatched my phone again and ran away and with that she acted to sob hard and hugged her mother shh it's okay i will talk to him calm down she nodded and pulled out from the hug now staring at her mom with teary eyes now let me find that brat who made my precious girl crying saying so her mother angrily strode down to the hall she followed her mother while grinning meanwhile the trouble maker was sitting in the garden sipping his cold coffee just when he was about to take another sip a dirty cloth landed on him spilling the cold coffee all over him hey you rascal come here right now hearing his mom's threatening voice he quickly got up and gulped nervously hey mom he spoke in an attempt to sound casual he got startled when she suddenly charged towards him with a stick in her hand i am sorry please leave me i won't repeat it ah before he could finish his sentence the stick landed on his butt with a loud thump making him lose his balance the one who was contently watching his misery widened her eyes as she saw that he was about to land on the sharp rake kept near the fence without thinking twice she raised in and pulled him away just before his body could touch the rake because of the impact both of them fell to the ground look at him with furry she muttered something under her breath thanks sis i knew you would save me anyway he spoke with an annoyingly teasing smile she just rolled her eyes and got up stomping her way inside the house he shook his head with a smile knowing that no matter how mad she is at him she will never let him get hurt and decorate the garden in the next 2 hours if you don't want me to give away your game console screamed his mother from behind can you at least help me with the tape both of my hands are occupied he requested his sister with pleading eyes she just scoffed i would if you had been a tad bit nicer to me now make it quick before mom yells at you again he furiously threw the decorations aside and crossed his arms on his chest i am older than you show some respect you know there is a thin line of difference between clever and stupid it fascinates me how you easily cross it so often she muttered entirely changing the topic and distracting him so you do admit i am clever sometimes Of course you are. The only times you are clever is when you carve out brilliant sadistic plans to annoy me. He huffed as he was rendered speechless yet again by his sassy baby sister. By the way, why would you fake cry and involve mom in our fight? He questioned. It is called emotional blackmail, you idiot. As long as I get my revenge, I am happy. She smiled cheekily. Yeah sure of all the beatings i have got into date this one takes the cake mom hit my butt so hard with that wooden stick she burst out laughing while he looked at her in disbelief 
आई ऑलवेज न्यू वॉम वॉज अ ग्रेट गिल्ली डंडा चैंपियन या राइट सेंग सो ही सडनली स्टार्टेड टेकलिंग हर आ आ स्टॉप दैट्स वाई वॉट यू गेट फ्रॉम द ड्रामा यू कॉस्ट एज मच एज दे बोथ फॉट एंड आर ग्यूड इन द एंड दे ऑलवेज एंडेड अप लाफिंग टूगेदर टू आवर्स लेटर हाई सैम थैंक्स फॉर कमिंग हेयर टेक दिस कप वी विल बी प्लेइंग गेम्स she enthusiastically welcomed her crush with sparkling eyes yo sis where is my jacket her brother appeared out of nowhere spoiling her moment she gritted her teeth and glared at him signaling him with her eyes to go away he understood the whole situation in the blink of an eye upon seeing sam a mischievous smile flashed on his face As he came closer and wrapped his arm around her shoulders, "Hey Sam, I guess you already met my sister. You can go into the garden and enjoy the party." He pointed his finger towards it. As Sam smiled and walked ahead, "You know, I hardly get to see him, let alone talk to him. Why would you ruin it for me?" She went, making him chuckle. as your older protective and responsible brother it is my duty to save you from dogs like him you would better stay away from him she just rolled her eyes and shook off his arm older yes but definitely not responsible saying so she walked towards the garden with her brother following her as the party ended the guests began leaving one by one feeling exhausted She do made her way to her bedroom when she heard her brother doing psst psst what she exclaimed angrily I am hungry could you make a sandwich for me silence followed please he said with all sincerity he could muster you literally gobbled down one large pizza all by yourself not to mention three glasses of coke and a big slice of cake How in the world are you still hungry? He put on a pout and looked at her with puppy eyes. She continued, "If anyone sees us right now, they would definitely assume that I am older than you and babysitting you." He grinned sheepishly and ruffled her hair before following her to the kitchen. Sitting at the top of the counter, he yawned and clicked his tongue, exhausted from waiting for his food. She on the other hand was purposely taking things extra slow and teasing him. It did not go unnoticed by him. While she was too engrossed in making the sandwich, he sneakily dipped his finger in the ketchup. The next thing she knew, she had the ketchup spread on her nose and cheeks. Before she could even react, he ran away at the speed of light, leaving her an angry mess. She grabbed the bowl of ketchup and charged towards him with flared nostrils. He sensed her from afar and ran like there was no tomorrow. As soon as he felt her catching up to him, he instinctively ducked in order to dodge her attack. Hearing nothing from her, he carefully raised his head, only to widen his pupil twice, their original size. There stood their father. in his classy pearl white suit he wore for the party which now had the red ketchup splattered all over it he took a long deep breath it's not like he was the typical strict father he was in fact very loving and warm to everyone around him however one thing he thoroughly despised it was a mess and filth and currently he was an absolute mess thanks to his trouble making kids She did not dare to look up at her father, sensing the tension in the air. Her face turned bright red as a combination of guilt, fear and embarrassment overcame her. Her brother, who was now standing next to her with his head hung low, feared more for her rather than himself. Before their father could utter a word, he quickly admitted, "I it it was my fault, dad. Sorry." His father raised an eyebrow in response, demanding an explanation. He sighed and soon began elaborating on the situation. 
After he finished, he took a quick glance at his father to read his expression, and looked down again. Their father let out a tired sigh, not wanting to scold them for a merrily having fun. He knew it was not that big of a deal. Seeing their heads hung low, his anger started dissipating. Don't act scared now. You guys know I can't stay mad you for long. Their heads shot up in unison upon hearing the sweet words. They expected to be given at least a small punishment, but were left surprised instead. Will you both keep staring, or do you plan to help me clean up before your mother sees it? All this and gets mad at us. He asked with a warm smile as they both immediately jumped into their father's arms for a tight hug. He laughed and patted their heads. Pulling away, they giggled together before heading back to clean the mess. Next day, as both the siblings were getting ready for their day, they were as excited as could be. It was the first day of summer vacation, and both of them had their individual plans. Now that they had shifted into their new spacious home, there was a lot of fun they could have at home itself. She planned to have a tea party with her friends in the garden, and later go out on a shopping spree online. On the other hand, he had organized a gaming party with his buddies, since he had his own gaming room now. Happily walking along the corridor, she bumped into him. and both of them fell down can't you look where you are going you idiot she barked i can ask you the same thing chipmunk he snickered and raised his eyebrows she scoffed and replied well you just proved you are dumb by giving me an absolutely not relatable nickname do i look like a tiny animal with a little nose and big eyes dawdling around she asked He had an amused expression and broke into hearty laughter. You know, you are quite the clown. He spoke genuinely, glad to be of help. She muttered and sassily flicked her hair. By the way, Pratik's coming today. He announced. Really? She asked, almost yelling. What is with the excitement? He asked suspiciously. Well, he is just a talented designer. and i like to learn things from him besides he is your only friend who does not make me one a woman on behalf of all human kind she replied he shrugged his shoulders not like you have some classy friends he mocked don't you dare say a word about my friends they are the best all right she fumed yeah yeah keep telling yourself that what's with the passive aggressive comments Look at your nonsensical friends first. She spoke, an attempt to leave, still better than yours. He said with a wicked smile as she just sighed and left. This was not even close to their everyday bickering, but since they were both expecting guests, they called off the probable fight. A few hours later, both the siblings were having a blast. The sound of racing cars and loud voices echoed through the house. On the other hand the girls were as quiet as could be not that they were always this calm but the current activity of online shopping required a lot of concentration and the girls were becoming pro at it they were very elegantly seated on the bed peacefully scrolling through different websites and exchanging frequent glances for each other's approval not a word was spoken but still lots of shopping was done within 2 hours the girls later went to the garden to play musical chairs meanwhile the boys planned an outing to the mall and reached the door as they were about to step out they heard the girls giggling getting curious they peeked into the garden and found them playing merrily a sudden wish to have some fun rose into his heart as he watched his sister with a playful smile He convinced his friends to join the plan of scaring them out of their wits. None of them noticed his mother walking in their direction, holding a basket full of dried leaves and debris from the garden. "Boo!" the boys shouted in unison. 
Ah! His mother scream echoed loud as the basket of leaves dropped from her hands. All of them were taken aback by this sudden twist of destiny. The boys had their mouths agape, while the girls also arrived hearing the scream. His mother was taking deep breaths, trying to calm her self-startled self. The girls helped her stand as she glared at the culprits. A series of apologies later, the siblings stood in front of their mother. Their friends already left not wanting to cause any more mischief. He was looking down in embarrassment while she was enjoying her brother's miserable state. However, her smile faded away upon their mother's words. Clear up this mess and mow the grass in the garden. Both of you. But mom, why me? I am not at fault. She uttered in disbelief. Not a word more. Finish the work before I come back for a stroll. Their mother sat with a firm voice and walked away. As was expected, the siblings started arguing and blaming each other while walking to the garden. Their mother heard it and muttered to herself, Double the trouble.